example where we, we, we try our method for those 3D. So basically, so what are they? So this is a, a 3D kitty, and you take pictures. The image is corresponding to projection of that 3D shapes <coughs> on a different angle, so it's two-dimensional, okay? Because the angles <coughs> on the uh, direction even on the sphere. So you project it on different directions. So each one gives you an image. You know all these images can be parametrized by these two parameters. We don't know, but this is how the data is generated. And then we basically using the first two eigenvalues, so each image is projected to the top two single values and give the coordinate. I don't think you can read this, but you do see it's not perfect horizontal and vertical, but you see uh, the pattern is roughly uh, leaves on these two parameters. Basically, um, yeah, I think either we plot the angles with respect to these two co coefficients or we project we plot the coefficient with respect to angle. Basically, you will see there's two, uh, it, it, it look like a 2D function. Okay, so here is the conclusion. Uh, so again, it's a framework of for solving PDEs on point cloud without any triangulation or parametrization. You only, because the only reason you can do it is Differentiation is local operation. Okay, you can do that, and you know what is this intrinsic differential operator it means. It means you have to load the local metric. So by finding a local good coordinate, you can parametrize in that coordinates both the manifold where you can have the metric, or and you can find uh, the local approximation of the function in that same <coughs> coordinate system by, as I said, using chain rule you can find this uh, geometric uh, in, uh, the differentiation with respect to the metric, local metric but integral, I don't think you can do it, that's still um, a difficult problem if you want to find the integration on the manifold sampled by the point cloud, that's hard because then you need the right weight and the right weight is you have to do some kind of triangulation to find what's but, but solving the corner equation is in a sense integration uh, why is uh, integration? Oh, you mean you integrate to find the distance? Yes. Um, yes, but it's integration. It's not okay. You don't okay. That's right. Integration, but that's only along the geodesic line. That thing's it's 1D, okay? But if you want to do area or anything, it's 2D. So you have to care about what's the orthogonal direction to these things. It's 1D, yes, you can do. Uh, but, uh, but 2D, or in general you want, that's, that's what it say, right? I mean, if you have a sampling things, you want to put the right probability measure so that approximate some distribution is not, it's not easy. So in this case, you have to uh, really Globally, know what's the relative weight or the sampling weight. Yeah. But for di uh, for differential operators, only local approximation is needed, and this extends to high dimensional data. Again, the key thing is, although we're approximating locally the differential operator, uh, but our aim is by using the globally defined geometric PD to extract uh, the global features. For example. Uh, the eigenfunction of this Laplace spectrometry operator does tell you it's like a, a global basis GPS system. Uh, I didn't talk about that, but I, I know Ron and uh, your group also do a lot even that to uh, identify points uh, to uh, to to registration different different point clouds. Okay, so that's all.